Hey everybody, it's Julie and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my home here in Santa Monica, California. So I hope you guys are enjoying this point of view. I did switch back my Tiffany blue table to its original direction and I'm able to film this way. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's Planting with Julian's episode. Also, let me know down in the comments below, how do you like to see me plant up? Um, I like to change it from time to time so you guys have different points of views. In today's video, I wanted to just dedicate this one video planting up my newest sense of areas that I will be adding to my collection. Now, if you keep up with my channel and keep up with my videos, you know that I lost a lot of sense of areas in my collection while I was away in Egypt. And I am working very hard in the month of February to replace them and more to rebuild my sense of area collection. And then I'll go ahead and do a Jolene Collectors video featuring my sense of area collection when it is up to where I want it to be. So I think I've lost about seven sense of areas in the last month with the rain and I am slowly rebuilding it. Now I have four sense of areas that I recently add to my collection since I've been back from Egypt and I want to go ahead and plant them up in today's video. So I'm going to go ahead and just get started in no particular order. Now I did film at Catherine's home yesterday so if you guys haven't seen the Meet My Plant Friend episode featuring her updated collection, go ahead and check that out. I did leave her place with a handful of plant cuttings which I'll go ahead and discuss in the next plant haul video on my channel. But today, I just want to go ahead and focus on my sense of areas before I teach my night classes. I was able to get to the beach this morning and do a beach workout with Ebby, which I absolutely love doing and something that I miss. Now that I have my new schedule, I'm able to go ahead and do that with her. So it's been a good day. I had lunch with another Pilates instructor. So in today's video, I'm going to try to see if the four sense of areas that I do currently have that got recently added to my collection, if there's planters that can match up with them that I currently have in my collection because there is a lot that I emptied out with the rain. So I'm going to go ahead and just pick up my Sensevaria Moon Glow. Now, I don't know what's the difference between Moon Glow and Moon Shine. I know someone said in the comments it's the same plant and it looks exactly the same as my Sensevaria Moon Shine. So I'm just going to say that it's the same plant but the nursery decided to call it a moon glow which is so weird because in that same section there was plants listed as moon glow and moonshine so I wanted to go ahead and do the split with her because she wanted to get this sense of area so I said why not so we did a split on this one I have one of the planters that I drilled up the other day in my planting with Julian episode and I have cactus succulent soil mix here so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill up the planter with soil and place them in now there's a bunch of babies so i'm just going to take them apart because i like to restyle them into a different shape if they look kind of funky and i could always put this together with my original sense of area moon shine but that's fine i'm just going to go ahead and dedicate a whole new planter for this one and now that I know since I pulled it apart, there's so many babies in here. If I ever wanted to sell them off or trade them out, I know I have a bunch that I can just take from this planter. I have my potting tray uh, link in the description bar if you guys are interested. My affiliated link is in my description box. I love this potting tray because even with my potting bench, with me filming for my channel every day, it's just nice that I can go ahead and move the potting tray where I feel it's the best for that time of day and film a video. So if you guys are interested, I love this potting tree a lot. I've had it now for, I want to say about two years and so far so good. There is a crack here, but I want to say it probably got damaged maybe with the rain. I'm not sure, but it's fine. It's still usable. So I have about two hours to I have to leave the house and teach my night classes. Um, but I'm glad that my new schedule allows me to have time for myself and for Ebby. So I'm still able to focus on my channel and my plants and also my online closets and selling plants and still be able to have time for myself. And everything that I'm doing in my life right now are things that make me happy. And I want to kind of keep it that way um, because I definitely don't want to invest time into something that doesn't keep me happy. So plants make me happy I will do that every day so I think that looks great what do you guys think I think it worked out well I think this planter I got from home goods in Las Vegas I'll be going to Las Vegas next weekend to work for Valentine's Day weekend so we'll see I'm probably gonna hit up home goods and TJ Maxx and Marshalls to see if they have any white planters never be too sure but this is 
a cutting that is not rooted and it would have been nice to know just to know so if you see here there are some roots here but this guy here has no I think roots. moving forward when I revisit this nursery I think I'm going to maybe tug on the plant to see if there's roots or not because it would have been nice to know very easy to propagate and grow as long as they don't get too much rain which is what happened with mine so I'm just pressing firmly into the planter and making sure I like the look and the placement I think this planter works out well these were one of the planters that I drilled up in my last drilling video and I like the way how I styled them so there's three of them in here what do you guys think I think that looks great guy here This looks so cute. Let's see if this is rooted or not. Okay. So. Okay. There is a baby here. And if you can see, it is connected to the mother plant. I'm going to keep it together. And I am reusing one of my popcorn planters that a sense of area was in that I lost from the rain. Going in with the soil back filling here. Here is the new baby in the popcorn planter. Very cute. You can see the baby right here. So that worked out well. Okay, so these are my whale fins that I'm keeping. I have two from one and two from the other. And I had ended up getting three cuttings. I thought I was going to get two, but when I had taken apart, I have no choice but to get three cuttings. So if you guys are interested, I am selling them off and you guys can be official plant friends with me. Go ahead and direct message me. I probably go ahead and yeah, they're ready to go. They're calloused over and they're ready for new homes. So reach out to me if you guys are in the United States for any plants, especially the Wilfin. If you guys don't have it and collect them, I am definitely a huge collector of Sensivarius. So my collection is slowly getting there guys. I'm coming back strong. So this planter, I had my Dyphenbachia dumb cane plant that Kira gave me a while back but with the rain it kind of looks a little scary so with that plant I'm just took it out and I have it in a nursery container and it's like in an ICU in the greenhouse so hopefully it'll come back but right away I wanted to go ahead and use the planter for my whale fins because I love the look with a tall planter I think this look works out well so right away it's getting refilled with a new baby and I think I want to style them this way. Let's see. I think I want it this way. This looks pretty cute. Now when I had taken these sensitive areas out, you could tell that there were cuttings as well. Um, but sensitive areas, they propagate very easy. They're easy growers. But it's supposed to rain, guys, next week. Kind of action for next week when it rains three days in a row. Depending how bad the rain is, I may have to do the same thing all over again. Or I'll just go ahead and bring like my cactus and succulent babies inside and my house plants keep them outside. I don't know. We'll see. But this is, I think, the look that I'm going to go for here. Does that look about right? Hmm. Say this is how I want to style it. Can always change it. I'll look at it every day and see if I like the look. But I think this is the look that I'm going for right here. What do you guys think? Add one more scoop of soil. I don't like the look of this. I'll go ahead and switch it up. But I think this is. I want a little dimension. I don't want them back to back with each other. So I think I'm gonna leave this for now. But I mean, how cute is this look? I love it a lot. Guys, that is going to wrap up today's planting with Julian featuring my new Sensevaria babies. I am determined to come back strong with my Sensevaria updated collection and I'll probably go ahead and film my Julian's collective series featuring my Sensevaria collection probably in March when I go ahead and feel like it's kind of back to where it used to be. But there's definitely some new babies I've never had in my Sensevaria collection like my dream plant. I love it so much and I'm so glad I was able to pair them up into planters that had babies in them originally but got ruined by the rain. So I'm glad I was able to do this for them today and I'm glad it was a productive afternoon 
in my space if you guys enjoyed this planting with julian episode let me know down in the comments below also let me know down in the comments below what was your favorite sensevaria and do you collect them how many do you have and do you find it hard to find sensevarias where you live would love to know that. So let's go ahead and do today's plant friend shout out. I definitely like to do plant friend shout outs when I'm home in my space so that I can give a genuine reply back. And this one goes out to Little Miss Asian. She posted this up two days ago on my channel. She says here, Hey Julin, I love how your space looks surrounded by your plants, a true jungle. Have you considered using grow lights? Of course, it's the best to have natural lighting, but I do find it a game changer for dark corners in the home. Love your videos. Thanks for sharing. Thank you so much for leaving that comment and i am glad that you are enjoying my videos now as far as for having grow lights in my home now my place is already out of control with the plants and to me i don't think it's out of control but i think when you walk into my space it definitely feels like it's a nursery or a secret garden i like to think of it as my secret garden so after having all of my plants in my space i definitely was thinking about grow lights especially cura has them and i think they're great but I love being able to just have what I have in my home and not add more unless I sell something to make more space. With that being said, I did order me some grow lights. My, my plan with these grow lights is to find maybe my corner on the right side of my home or I'm not too sure about where my dining area is, but maybe on the opposite side where my desk is, maybe I can pull all of that out and change it to like a plant corner because that space is so dark, I don't go in it. But maybe if I had plants there, maybe I will go there a little bit more. So maybe I might make that the plant corner, who knows? I definitely had added plants on my front door and my bathroom door after seeing them hung up while they were in the rain so that inspired me i now have a little hooks and i'll show them in another video i ordered short door hooks and i hooked them onto my doors in my front door and my bathroom door to have more plants there i'll go ahead and talk about it in another video but stay tuned because i did order grow lights i'm just trying to figure out the best way how i want to incorporate them in my space and where and i'll go ahead and also film that for the channel so stay tuned for that and i hope you guys enjoyed today's video you can find more on my blog at lojulian.blogspot.com. If you're new, welcome to my channel. Hit the bell and subscribe button to be notified on my daily uploads. I do daily uploads on this channel. And if you haven't subscribed to my vlog channel, please go ahead and do so. Support that channel. I have my vlogs from Egypt coming up. I just uploaded my second Egypt vlog today which is pretty cool because it's me and my grandma exploring the pyramids which i had a blast i'll definitely have to go back to egypt soon because it wasn't enough time but go ahead and support the channel and let me know down in the comments below what would you like to see in upcoming videos i'm just kind of trying to get you know up to par with my collection after the rain before the rain starts again on wednesday and i'm looking forward to filming more content over the weekend this weekend in southern california so i'll definitely head up another flea market so stay tuned for that and next weekend, I'll be back in Las Vegas. So I definitely want to film something in Las Vegas. Nonetheless, I enjoy sharing plant life with you guys on the daily. And thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. Until next time, aloha from Santa Monica, California. Bye. Bye.